So I got the call today, or yesterday. I actually got the call yesterday. Keith over at Weaver's Bow Shop. He gave me a call and said, "Hey, Mikey, what's happening?" He didn't say it like that. He didn't say it like that. But he's like, "Hey, Mikey, what's going on, brother? What's up?" He didn't say that. I'm just joking again. He said, "Hey, Mikey, your uh, your bow is here." I was like, "Really?" He's like, "Yeah, it's here." I was like, "No." I was like, "Yeah, it's here." I was like, "You're lying." He's like, no, it's not. It's here. Come get it. I was like, oh my God, you're kidding me. And uh, I was like, I wasn't expecting it to be here. I thought it'd be here by the end of February, beginning of March. It's the 14th, 15th. Today's the 15th of February. And I about shit. I'm like, oh my God, awesome. My new bow is here. Cool. So I'm just like, should I get new strings or should I just stay with zebra strings? I don't know what to do. If I get new strings today, it's only going to cost me $50. But I can't pick my bow up for another week. That sucks. I wanted my, if it's here, I want it. I'm like, all right, cool, go get it. I can shoot it, great. Uh, if I get new strings, I can't pick it up for like at least a week, he said. He said they, they're like a week behind when it comes to putting strings on. So I'm like, all right, well. I said, let me think about it. Let me think about it. The bear's paid for. It's all paid for. Uh, the only thing that is not paid for is my rest. So, I, if I go get uh, new rest on it, and that's like $200, which I didn't really have to spend today, but if I was going to take my bow up, I would dig it out of my ass somewhere and pay for it uh, and just deal with the consequences, I guess. But... Man, my windshield is a filthy ass mess. I don't know if I can get this thing cleaned up a little bit for you. You can see at least a little bit where I'm driving at here. <sighs> Man, you gotta love Pennsylvania this time of year. You get covered in freaking uh, salt. The salt from the road, the calcium from the roads or whatever. It just plasters your windshield. So I don't know what I'm going to do about new strings. I'm, one thing I like about what Matthews did this year is they have that the this day of build system. The, what is it? ASF or A? I don't know. Stay of build. Where you, can, where you can fix your own fucking string, basically. So that's the one thing I like about the new Matthews is that if I get, if my string starts to twist a little bit from stretching, I can fix that myself. You know, I, I can I can I can I can fix it myself. I don't have to go to the bow shop. That was a big big reason why I always got new strings was so it saved me a trip to the bow shop because new strings don't twist. They they're I would always buy strings that are already pre-stretched. I didn't have to worry about it. I am in a little town called Ceilings Grove. Uh, I'm on Route 147 getting ready to turn on to a rattle 11. be 11 to 11 15 run down that way i'm in central pa anybody's wondering i don't know i just i've been trying to make a live video i don't know if i can do it every day or not but i'm gonna try to keep posting every couple days every day or so uh i'll probably make a video when i get my new bow so i'm not shooting it today if you're here to watch me shoot my bow or look at my bow i don't have it yet it's at the bow shop i'm going today to get it I'm pretty excited but what do you guys think should i get new strings or just keep the black zebra strings that come on it you know the few problems with the zebra strings is that they stretch they're not free stretch strings which i think is weird why do you guys sell bows bows with strings that are not pre-stretched or junk fucking i don't understand that that is one thing about athens bows that i really really like athens bows they stretch them fuckers they're already pretty stretched they're, they're, they're gas strings. You get gas strings on your Athens bow, and it's a transferable warranty. I'm buying an Athens Peak 38, so watch out for that video. I can't wait to get it. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get a target bow. I've always wanted a target bow. I will now have a target bow. I can't wait. I'm pretty excited. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty excited. So, man, this is beautiful in here. I should have my crossing the river here. This is the old Susquehanna River. You guys ever heard of Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania? That's where I am. 
Union, Union County. Union Township, Union County. Uh, what's the name of this? I can't think of the name of this shit. Uh, I can't remember the name of the dam. Smoking Dam? Is it Smoking or something like that? I can't pronounce that. Schneider County. I'm in Schneider County now. Uh, anyhow, I'm just rambling here. But what do you guys think? Should I get new strings or not? If I get new strings, my old, my V3, my V327 had bucks, buckskin and kiwi strings. It was buckskin strings with kiwi serving, and I freaking loved it. I loved the way that string looked. I loved it. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It looked like a piece of art. Like, so, I, I, I would really, really like to do something like that again. Or I wouldn't mind trying a different, I wouldn't mind trying a, a different string. Like, don't get me wrong, I like Weaver strings. Weaver makes really, really good strings. But I don't know, when, I wouldn't mind trying something maybe a little different. Maybe a little, something a little different. I don't, I've never had gas company strings, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe try some gas strings out. But yeah, it's kind of where I'm at. I, uh, might sound stupid, but like I'm debating on whether to get new strings or just stick with zebras for now. If I get Weaver strings, it only cost me $50 today. But if I take it home and shoot, it's going to cost me $200. You know, the zebra strings, I can, I shoot a lot. And I don't know how long they'll actually last. I've never had them. Maybe I had to make a video on how long, try to keep track of my shooting, see how long. Would you guys like a video to tell you how long it takes to stretch a set of, of uh, zebras out and how long how many shots does it take me until I have to put a twist in my string I thought about making a video like that you know just just to make uh, just to make a video like I thought maybe it'd be kind of cool to make that video so I don't know you guys have to let me know in the comments if anybody actually watches it this far but I'm really 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 thinking about going and just keeping my zebra strings I've never done that before but this will be my third Matthews or fourth Matthews my triax had my triax had zebra strings on oh no I got new strings on it too never mind it had zebra when I got it and I changed them out almost immediately nice load of rock oak in front of us I think it's rock oak that one's a maple that one's a maple yeah, just a nice load of logs one up on top there that one's a maple Nice little lumber up there going. I, uh, I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah. Go from there. By the time anybody watches this video, I'm probably already going to have my decision. <laughs> but let me know what you guys, what you guys, uh, what you guys who bought new bows, what did you do? Even the mad, even the Hoyt guys. You know, you Hoyt guys, you guys get few strings, and I, I don't like few strings. I had a, I've had like three or four Hoyts over the years, and two of them had few strings on them, and I, I hated them strings. They stretched like fucking ridiculous. I hated the way that them strings stretched. I think uh, they, they measured it, and it was like a quarter inch. I think it, it stretched like about a quarter of an inch, and I guess that's a lot. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> all right. I guess nobody's watching them. I was turning this thing off. So, all right, everybody. A little live video for you. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Should I? It's uh, my bow is Spectre Camo with black limbs. And the last time I got buckskin with kiwi serving. And it looked fucking sharp. Fucking sharp. It was a beautiful bow. So, all right, everybody. Peace and love. Appreciate you watching. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. That'd be cool. If not, it's no biggie. See you guys.